Jesus. Can we raise up our hands to heaven and say, thank you, Lord, that you have chosen me. Thank you, God, that you have made a place for me in your home. That when I should have been lost, when I should have been forsaken, when I was faithless, you are faithful, God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. We thank you, God, that you are there with us, that you are pursuing us. When we were running away from you, God, you came after us, God. We did not deserve it. People of God, we did not deserve it. We did nothing to deserve the cross. We did nothing to deserve the blood of Christ that was spilled for us, but it was a mercy. People of God, we're not here just to go through a set of programs. We're not here just to go through a set of things that we didn't just check off, but we're here to remember what Jesus did for us. We're here to remember, to meditate on what Jesus did for us, the songs that we sing. Everything that we do, he was our champion that came down from heaven and beat death for us. He tasted death so that you and I will not have to taste death. He tasted the curse so that you and I can live in victory. That is our champion. People of God, let's worship him. He's worthy of worship. God is worthy of your worship. The one who shed his blood for you. The one who broke his body for you. He was being worshipped by the angels, but he, but he abandoned that throne and he came down to earth. And he took on the body of a human. And that body was broken and that body was beaten for us. So that we can have fellowship with him. We thank you God for that cross. We thank you, God, that you are our champion that came down from heaven and tasted death and bore the curse for us. Thank you, Jesus. You are my champion. It shines for when you stand undefeated. Every battle.
He is our champion. He is our champion. He has come down to give us a victory. He has come down to give us a victory. That victory is made available for you. That victory is made available for you this morning. That victory is made available for you this afternoon. This morning, I feel like God wants to tell you it is not God's will for you to walk intimidated. It is not God's will for you to walk with the spirit of intimidation. For God has not given you a spirit of timidity, but he has given you a spirit of power and of sound mind. Let me tell you, let me tell you, when Goliath stood up against the people of Israel, everybody cowered. Nobody was able to stand up against that giant. They all went to a corner and they were all shivering with fear. But the one who knew his God, the one who knew his God, when he stood up, he said, who are you to come against my God? Who are you to come against my God? All it takes is for one person who knows his God to see the giant fall down. This morning you want to see your giant fall down. Know your God. Do you know? greatness of your God. It is not the will of God for you to walk in timidity. It is not the will of God for you to walk in intimidation. But this morning, victory is going to come. Victory is going to come. Victory is going to come. All it takes is for one person, the one person who was in the pasture, who sung songs and spent time with his God. He was not a trained warrior. He was not a trained soldier. But it took him, the one who knew was God, to see the giant fall down in front of him. This morning, God is making that victory available for us. Are you intimidated by a sin? Are you intimidated by a disease? Are you intimidated by fear of the future? This morning, those giants will fall before your God. I declare that in the name of Jesus, this morning, your giants will fall before the resurrected King of Kings, before the resurrected King of Glory. Receive that word. Receive that word this morning.
I'm submitting myself to you totally. Hallelujah. Oh, Abraham who had a fear of the Lord. Abraham who obeyed God. He was not anticipating what the answer would be. Dear child of God. Some dead situations are that it can be changed. My God is faithful to change those dead situations. But Abraham, the dedication started with Abraham. Do not ask your opinion from your wife. Why should ask for the opinion of the husband? You must submit totally to God. That God is the ownership. That God has the authority to change my life. That my God can make the impossible situations possible. Can we submit totally? Can we submit totally without expecting anything in return? Can we sing the last few verses of these songs? Ashes of defeat, the resurrected King is resurrecting me. In your name, I come alive to declare your victory. The resurrected King is resurrecting. Yeah. 
പിതാവേ തിരുമുഖത്തേക്ക് ഞങ്ങൾ വീണ്ടും നോക്കുന്നു അവിടുത്തെ സാന്നിധ്യത്തിന്റെ മറവിൽ തുടർന്ന് ഞങ്ങളെ ഇരുത്തുമാറാകണമേ ശുശ്രൂഷകളെ എല്ലാം സ്വർഗം കൈയേറ്റിരിക്കാൻ നന്ദിയോടെ സ്തോത്രം ഞങ്ങളുടെ കണക്ക് കൂട്ടലുകളിൽ തെറ്റുമ്പോൾ കണക്ക് കൂട്ടുന്നത് നന്നായി ചെയ്യുന്ന ഞങ്ങളുടെ ദൈവം ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി ജീവിക്കുന്നതിനാൽ നന്ദിയോടെ സ്തോത്രം ഇന്ന് പകൽക്കാലം ആ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ സന്നിധി പൂർണ്ണമായി ഞങ്ങളെ തന്നെ സമർപ്പിക്കുന്നു കർത്താവ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ പ്രാർത്ഥന കേട്ടിരിക്കുകയാൽ സ്തോത്രം യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിന്റെ ധന്യമുള്ള നാമത്തിൽ തന്നെ എല്ലാവരും ദിവസത്തിലിരിക്കാം പ്രിയ ജീനയും ചിപ്സനും പൈതലുമായി മുൻപോട്ട് കടന്നു വന്ന നന്മയല്ലാതൊന്നുമേ നീ ചെയ്യുകയില്ല എന്തു സാഹിച്ചെന്നാലും എന്തു സാഹിച്ചെന്നാലും എല്ലാമേശുവേ നന്മയ്ക്ക മർക്കോസിന്റെ സുവിശേഷം പത്താമത്തെ അധ്യായത്തിന്റെ പതിമൂന്ന് മുതൽ പതിനാറ് വരെയുള്ള വാക്യങ്ങൾ ഞാൻ വായിക്കുന്നു അവർ തുടയേണ്ടതിന് ചിലർ ശിശുക്കളെ അവന്റെ അടുക്കൽ കൊണ്ടുവന്നു ശിഷ്യന്മാരോ അവരെ ശാസിച്ചു യേശു അത് കണ്ടപ്പോൾ മുഷിഞ്ഞ് അവരോട് ശിശുക്കളെ എന്റെ അടുക്കൽ വരുവാൻ വിടുവിൻ അവരെ തടയരുത് ദൈവരാജ്യം 